Okay. <clears throat> Why don't we take a look at this uh, piece of writing? Okay. Think it's a good idea? Yes. Then we'll do it. I got permission. <laughs> Approval. Why don't we get a couple of readers and we go slow? Oh. Any volunteers? One, two, which one? Uh, are we Parmenides, Parmenides or? Parmenides. Parmenides. Okay, Aristoteles, let us begin. And usual rule, raise your hand if you want to interrupt the process and reflect on something. Okay, all right, okay. good, good. There is no reason to tell dirty jokes at this time. Uh, uh. <laughs> I have two questions. Either from heaven or hell. Go ahead. What do you got? Okay, 141D. Okay, this one talks about the self, not the one. Well, that's thoughtful of you. And this talks about the self and yeah, the I, I had an old translation. Okay. Oh, I'm and you said does not participate. This one says does participate. Well, that's okay. I'm not okay. Oh, okay. Right on. Right. Okay. Right. Let me have your shoes. Sure. You said does. I said it does not. Yeah, but up here at 141D, it says does. Okay. No, no, no. We're reading from the station. Oh. Ruth, uh, 95. Oh. Well, that's 141E. E. I thought that's one move. Did I write it wrong? Oh, excuse me. Ah. Okay.
Where did I pull that one? One hundred and one green. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I see the arrow. <clears throat> okay. Ready? Yeah. Ready. <clears throat> you mean E5? Maybe. <laughs> One forty one E five. Yeah, okay. You're quite right. Thank you. Okay. <coughs> Pick it up from there, take a look at it for a few minutes. And remember, be careful there's a wild dog here. Vicious. Okay, let's, okay, who needs more time? Elder, okay, fair. Accordingly then, if the one does not ever participate of time in any way at all, then neither has it ever come to be nor was coming to be, nor was, neither has it ever come to be, nor become, nor is in the now, neither will it ever come to be, nor will it have, have come to be, nor will it ever be. Go ahead. Oh. Uh, when I have my brother's translation, is that the one that you have? Yeah. That is likely to be the case? No. Uh, it's uh, 141 E8. Right <laughs> By all means? Most true. Most true. Alethestata. Okay. Most true. <laughs> Therefore, is it possible for it to participate of Usia in any other way other than according to any one of those ways? Therefore, no. It is not <coughs> Right? Agree? Yeah. Right? <coughs> is that obvious? Right. Is that conclusion obvious? This should be transparently clear. If not, you've got to raise your hand and talk about it. Can you read that again, please? Yeah. Uh, therefore, is it possible... No, in the same way you started. Okay. Accordingly, then, if, if the one does not ever participate of time in any way at all, then neither has it ever come to be, nor was coming to be, nor was, neither has it ever come to be, nor become, nor is in the now, neither will it ever come to be, nor will have come to be, nor will it ever be. 
Most true. Why is it most true? Or is that an obvious question and we can skip it? Let's vote on it. Uh, I know what to do. Let's call on some volunteers to explain it. <laughs> How's that? Mm. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, if it doesn't participate in time, then it could not participate in the past or the future. Because? Because that would involve time. In what way? Either the time before or the time. Huh? In what way? Someone want to help her? The one participating of time. What one? Hmm. I heard a voice. That was me again. I'm mumbling. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> if the one does not participate of time. And any of the six ways in which it can be said to participate in time. Then there's no participation in seal. Why is that true? Hey, I'll tell you what. For every for every answer we get, why don't you be on the committee with Jeff and you judge whether it's an adequate answer or not? Okay? Shall we vote on that? Everybody agree? Okay, okay. good. Okay. Okay. So it, it looks like there are nine options, but actually... However many there are. Well, two are in the future and one that, yeah, is in I, the present. How will that answer the question? So then six are in the past. Okay. And Lucia involves That's reverting true. upon the past. So what? Does that answer the question why it must follow that it, it is not possible given that condition that there can be any participation in Lucia? Mm -hmm. That's the question. You would say? Um, that Lucia involves reverting upon the past. So what? So that would involve time. Ah, right, and because one, it's an activity. Right. And activities take place in time. True. Right, right. Uh, judge? Answer, yes or no? Thumbs up. Jenny? I, that, uh, that connection is not directly clear. It doesn't, unless it's implied Lucia is, if it implied Lucia is an activity, then yes. If not... Well, is it not an activity? Um, Turning yeah. upon itself, is that an activity? Yeah. Therefore? Yeah. This seems... Now, Aurelia, this is your, your You have to pat her on the back and say, go for it. So, okay, that's your job. Go for it. Uh, well, okay, I'll say yeah. I don't like it. Hold it. Is that a good answer? <laughs> no. Because? <laughs> She's not giving the whole thing. Or she still seems like she has another question. Right. She has qualifications to it, and her true answer doesn't need any. Yeah. Right. Uh, maybe I can help you, Gina. Maybe. Go ahead. Is your what do you question? Think of that? Go ahead. Or no, I, go, go ahead. No, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. But, would you not agree he should be able to help us? Yeah. Your turn. So why, is your, why is it obvious that no. there therefore would be no participation in Lucia? That is that faculty within us that can turn upon ourselves to get to know thyself. Go ahead. Well, I actually have a question that I, I don't see how... No trades. Uh, I'm not going to give up my question for yours. Okay. <laughs> well, but is, is Lucia in time? Pardon me, are you telling or asking? Asking. I don't think Lucia is in time, actually, from what I've understood. Therefore, I don't see how... Uh, that would be true. By the way, if it doesn't, for you, it doesn't function in time? I've always understood Lucia as that which is way beyond time. 
therefore, like the realm of eternal. That, that equally could be true, but that doesn't answer the question, does it? Not yet. Why not? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I thought he made a reference to the demons. Okay, no. no. Because a lot of other things having the same quality could be used, and they wouldn't distinguish them from all those other kinds of answers. Therefore, it's inadequate. Mm. Can you say that again? You mean it's not a unique? It's not unique, therefore it's not an answer. <laughs> not that it's not true. Yeah, thanks, that helped. Was that a mumble? Or a statement? Or uh, someone? Whoever said it. I'm just going to take a chance. <laughs> if, if it, we, if we're participating in Lucia. Right on. Each one of the selves. Mm -hmm. And, and our soul is immortal. That's equally true. Same point. <coughs> and it goes around. Around, it, around it, the flagpole? The, the one, the, the true one is giving us a chance. It does not participate, but it just cares and watches over us. Yeah, yeah. See, is that true? That could be true and still not answer the question. Agree? Yeah. And loves us. The equally wrong. That could be true, but it doesn't answer the question. <clears throat> Look here. <clears throat> if there is anything that has the capacity for turning about and reflecting upon itself, would you not agree that's an activity that must take place in some medium? The medium is time, or it could not then do this. It would have the power but by power is not sufficient. You have to have power that lets you do something in time to bring about a fundamental change. But if it's eternal, like you said. What? I said, but if it's eternal, then it wouldn't... So what? What's it got to do with it? But it wouldn't then participate... Pardon me. Stay with me. Why, why, did it, why does it matter if it's eternal or not? How does that change anything? Well, that's a different kind of time than this. That kind of time. That still doesn't change the subject. Okay? Right? Okay. Now, look here. Is what I said, does that make sense? Yes or no? Yes. Is that an answer? That we, we go to our committee. Yeah, I'm happy with it, but I'm also intrigued with Bradley's answer uh, and why. Um... An answer that can equally be used to answer a, a series of questions it is not unique to itself and therefore it's an inadequate answer. Yeah, but could it still be true of Lucia? Yeah, it still can be true, so what? Mm. Look, well, it's the old question, just because a cat gives birth to six kittens in an oven, it doesn't make them biscuits. <laughs> right? Yes. You'll yeah, sign but, that? No, no, yeah, but Pierre, the reason, yeah, the reason I'm curious about it, though, I think, it's, I think it's a deeper problem than that, at least for me. If... Uh, if, if we're going to just tentatively agree that uh, Lucia has to exist in time because it's an activity and for the reason that you just gave and we all agreed on, but if we also tentatively agree that Lucia... Is eternal, one of the points you made. And well, or I believe Or Leah picked used, up the same point. Yes, yes go ahead. But, but I believe the, the word, he, the phraseology that Bradley used was that it is way beyond time. But that's... Okay, so it's, but wait. Now, are we going to agree that, that it can also be in time and also way beyond time? That has to, he, that has to be covered in his answer, not mine. Yeah, right. So th I'm interested in that because if it can be way beyond time, then what that implies, if that's true, is that it can do whatever it's doing, reverting on itself, without being in the medium of time in the way that you described as an activity. And I would like to know how that could be. You are presupposing there can be an Lucia that operates independent of time. I'm only presupposing it based no, no, on his answer. But, I'd like to know but, how that I mean, would that's be. The that's, all. that's the departure point. That is the departure point. But that's not relevant to the question that comes out of the existence and the nature of time and whether or not something says something about the one and therefore it can be said that if it does not participate in time in any of the six negative ways, two positive ways, therefore it must necessarily not participate in Lucia. That's the question. Well, I agree. 
Any, anything you answer without opening up, you have to talk about the nature of the subject and show that given the nature of the subject, what can be attributed to it is not possible, possible but not true. <clears throat> Plus, didn't, Boyle, didn't you say eternal, eternal? He thought it was eternal? Yeah. So wouldn't you have to say that it's eternal which would I'm, be I'm, just I'm, more I, of the... I, I'm open uh, to... We'll see it out of time, in time. <laughs> Forever and ever and ever. If that makes sense. But that's what, we, that's what we have to see. Therefore, you see, you're assuming there can be this activity that is not in time. Yeah. But it itself is moving. Yeah. That presupposes an element of moving in called time. Well, that's all weird, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Does that answer it? Why is it weird? Now, can you use that answer to talk about the nature of soul? Or destiny? Or logos? Or any of these other ideas? Or is it unique to that subject? If it's unique... That's it. If we can answer another question with the same word, then it's not appropriate as an answer. Right? Okay, we're getting good. Also, hold it. Voice in the background. So, doesn't this necessitate, as a presupposition, any activity, any activity on whatever level presupposes? Right, oh, you know, a bit of all right, I'd say. Okay. <laughs> right. Dick, we go? Oh. We're getting close to a good one. Uh-oh. So Point of then, order. So yeah. there would then be no participation. Yeah, hold on. Well, so um, how can it, uh, how can, how can the one, uh, nor is in the now, it ain't in the now. Not enough room. One carries a sign. I'll never get in the now. <laughs> no, that's, right, that's, okay. right. that's in the Greek. <laughs> Wanted to show off my knowledge. Okay. Okay. Ready to open the big one? Let's go. Well, if, that, if there's no activity, then there's no you see them. And no participation. And no and no OCS. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean because it is participating in OCS. Because it's it, nature. No, it, because its nature is to participate in it. It's in its nature. That, that's key. It's not merely that it does or does not do something, but it follows from its nature that doesn't necessarily be true. You mean the one or self? Right. Oh, you know. So the self, this nature, does not participate. I, I agree. I, if there's okay. an activity, then we're on, then it wouldn't participate. The word Ready? participation Shall would we have go. to be out. Right out. Accordingly, then, the one in no way whatsoever participates of Lucia. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is not likely. Accordingly, then, the one in no way whatsoever is. Got it? How it do you like that conclusion? Light. Right? Is means, right? Hey, this is a key word. And uh, uh, you can put in, instead of ex exist, uh, uh, is, yeah, is, and the, they're, they're using esteem. Mm -hmm. So is equals that which exists. Right? Right? That's not being or on, on toast or any of those other terms. Yeah, okay, go ahead. What do you think of that conclusion? Does that follow? It has not yes. come to light. Yeah. Should that be... No. Then you cannot attribute existence to the one. Mm -hmm. Is that what that means? Yes. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> there goes the one. 
Loved you around, Harry, but you know what? Your time is up. Yeah. <laughs> no time for you. Let's see. I mean, there are many, many commentaries on this, and they want to say that the idea of the one is central to what he is doing. And I think what's going on now seems to contradict that. What? It's essential to what who is doing? Well, to understanding the word called Plato's Parmenides. Oh, Plato. Parmenides. Right? Come on. Yeah. Uh, so how can they, how can the one be said to be the ultimate term? At least we know one thing, you can't attribute to it the idea of existence. Ready? No. Uh oh. Why is the answer it has not come to life? <laughs> You're a paid informer. You're a <laughs> and that's literal, and that's in the Greek. Now, please make a comment about it. Well, he went from most true to it is not, it's not likely to, it has not come to light, which sounds that, like he disagrees or... Yes, he is. Not. He is. But he's, he's shedding a tear, and he's saying, well, that's, that's what's come to light so far. I've just lost a friend. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn it. Yeah. yeah, why is it in that past past participle or whatever. Isn't it just no come to light? Okay, shall we go? I think it's not a perfect tense, which is how he's translating it. But it, um, you'd have to have something like, it doesn't come to light. What, what's that? I was, uh, I was offering, Julie asked, why is it in the tense it's in? And I said, I don't think it's a present perfect, which is the way one is translating it. No. I think it's a simple present tense, which would be more like, it does not come to life. No. That's better. Actually. Hey, it doesn't does come to life. That's it. Yep. Damn it. I'd like it to be saved, but it's gone. Okay. Or he uh, already sees where the light should be, and that's being taken away. We hope that's where he's going and coming yeah. from, don't we? So yeah, you can't sure. say this is the second hypothesis, or the idea of the good. Okay, ready? Okay, we go. <laughs> Accordingly then, neither is it in such a way as to be one. You can't even be one! There goes another tear. Go ahead. For it would already be by being and by participating of Rusia. Whereas according to reason, the one is neither one nor is, if one must trust in such a Logos. That's a whole package right there. I dare say so. <laughs> right? Now, why is that central? It's beyond. No. Huh? That as you get caught up in this kind of reasoning only, Right? And see the implications of where it's going, that you can be said to be following the Logos. That's called the dialectic. Right? But the Logos can be said to express a set of statements or ideas that are true. It follows that those are the subjects of dialectic, and so it follows. Right? Okay. Shall we go then? Any, any, uh, hold it. And also, I, I was thinking to myself, I have to keep in mind that it, it's all powerful. The logos. Yes. Sure, and how? As struck about. Well, um, if you don't give it enough power, you, you can't, it, 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 it's designated to something, time, immortality, or whatever. So, this has, when this functions, this has power mm -hmm. and expresses it, its inherent energy in the way in which it is functioning. Right? And uh, uh, now he's saying, 
if you take a look at the relationship between these two terms, that whatever you attribute to Ushe, you can't attribute it to the one. One doesn't even exist. This has to exist. Okay, ready? Go ahead. But could any non-being be of self of the one which is not? Or could any non-being belong to this self? And how could it? Hold it. What are we into? Non-being. Yeah. Uh, in what way can you say it that it is true from what you have seen? Why is that uh, major? And equally well, why does it follow? That's the difference. What's that? Huh? What's Let me that? do that again. Huh? What, what is that? Why, that's obvious. What's the difference? It hasn't reached, it hasn't reached it yet? No. That's right. It may be a process just interrupted, not complete, necessarily not complete. Therefore, an incomplete cognition is a false belief. Whoa. That's, that's why we have dreams. Yes, indeed. Right? Take a look at that. Hey, look here. Now, does it make sense? No pathologos can be attributed to the soul. No matter what pathologies you have, it, you cannot attribute that to the self. It's not of the self. It's of a, the realm of fictitious beliefs. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Go okay. for that? Yes, sir. Did that help? Yeah. Uh, did that help? Raise hands. Did that help? Yeah. Why did that help? It's yeah, why did that help? Because it's true. I'm wondering why no one. <laughs> what, uh, that's my answer. Because it's true, and I, we couldn't. I couldn't see that before. 
Well, what did it take to see it? I, I don't know. <laughs> it's because you're sitting next to Jeff. Yeah, Jeff, he's interrupting my cognition. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing, Julie. Well, when you put it in terms of non-being, then it's yeah. like, whoa. But isn't that essentially the same thing? Yeah. It is. See, when you have a question and you get an answer that seems to satisfy that question, you have to say to yourself, uh, are there grounds for me to accept that? Uh, could something else take its place and equally function in the same way? Is it unique? Hmm. Right? Mm. That's, re that's adding reflection to your answers, right? It has to pass a test from your own experience and what came before in the work, right? Okay, ready? <laughs> okay, you ready? What does the <laughs> fact that Moving of on. the one which is not add to that? Like, Pardon? it says here, but could any pathologos, if we say it that way, be of self of the one which is not? So is that adding a saying that if the one is not, then you can't have even, you can't have a couple of logos. Well, um, I'm not sure what your what your the point you're making. So why don't you say it again? Use different terms. Go ahead. But, well, but could not any non-being be of of self? Is that where you're at? Right. Right. Is that a good question? Yes. But ah, wait but a minute. Okay. Um, is that continuing from the previous? Right, is you carrying along the thought? Go ahead, keep going. Of the one which is not is added. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you have the one that it is not, then you can't have. Um, see, if, the way you have it up there, mm -hmm. could any pathologos be of self of the one which is not? And, I, and I'm going, okay, well, that means and there's no pathologos. Um, it's the one which is not. Like the emphasis is on... You'd have to show that that, that would follow from what you just read. Okay. Because that statement is consistent with that the one in no way uh, whatever is. Right. So the one therefore, is the one is not. Right. Therefore, you could... Therefore, there is no non-being. Of, of, finish it. Of the self. Of the self. Right. But does that mean that there... Well, does that mean that there is a non-being, but it's just not of the self? Sure. It's called the path of lovers. But you're but you're saying but is if the one is not would the is the patho does the pathologos have any one to it or uh, it has a yeah, the, I don't mind continuing the discussion anyway, but a, wait a minute right, before you say you're sorry it's not necessary really of course it would have a one depending upon how you're using the idea of one you can say it has a oneness because all the parts fit together and it's a parts of a whole and that's a one. Right, on what level do you mean that idea of the one at this point? Um, it's only the one of the first hypothesis. Okay. So there is, so you can have non-being, well then he hasn't gotten rid of non-being. Right? It's not the point. The point is not that you're getting, you have to get rid of non-being. The question is, is making an assertion about the things that are called non-being of the self, or they can, whether it can be said that they exist and can be attributed to the self, that's all. Okay. Huh? Mm. Charge? 
Go ahead. Accordingly, then, there is neither name, nor logos, nor any knowledge, nor perception, nor opinion that can be attributed to self. It has not come to light. That's it. Okay? It's not likely or... Okay? What do you think of that conclusion? Come on. From all of this, this should follow. Does it follow? Yes. Yes, it does. All right. Now you're reading. What's it like? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's we stayed with the... Right. We started with the one and concluded with the self. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. where it's going. Yeah. And a definite difference between the idea of the one and self. What would that be? Well, all I have to do is say that what's attributed to the one can you cannot attribute to the other. That's all. Which will which we're now going to see. Ready? Um, yeah. Right? See, here's the here's the puzzle. List of negatives. These negatives, you cannot in any way bring them together or singularly or in any fashion mm. and attribute that to the self. All the negatives about the one in any way, in a part or whole, some or all, right? Any combination of it cannot be attributed to the self. And therefore, what can you say about the self? Well, one thing is clear from that. Read it again. Uh, accordingly, then, there is neither name... No, hey. No logos. Watch. Wait a minute. <coughs> no logos. No any knowledge no perception, no opinion that can be attributed to self. Okay, look here. Uh, uh, miss, uh, uh, do you take on challenges? <laughs> oh, this one sounds interesting. Pardon me? Oh, gosh. Um, I like to think I would be able to do it. Good, we'll good, <laughs> good, good. What would it be like doing that? Um, that would be interesting. Uh, Come on. This would be um, like letting go of everything you ever felt you knew about self. That's right. And even... <laughs> it's me. No logos. Yeah, no logos. What? Now, okay, now what are you going to be? Are you one of these spiritual kids who go around and uh, uh, pray, wonder, or uh, dedicate yourself to some higher notion? <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. You're, you're, how about you? Well, that's well, a trick question. Are you, going to push, are you going to push know yes, thyself? No. no. Why? <laughs> right. <laughs> What psychic state does that put a person in? You're in it now. What is that? What is that? Like? Perfect. Perfect. Uh, want to ask him something? Oh, no, I take it back. <laughs> Oops. I was just going to say open. Did you hear that? Yeah, but that, that does not fail to. That's a seeker. That's, yeah. that's a logos, right? Yeah, that's logos. Oh. Yeah. What does that do to the person who can be said to be a seeker? What does that do? Oh, well, that's <laughs> huh? foolish. Yeah. No, of course. Now live it. <laughs> <laughs> right, now, okay. He's going to take all of those things, right? Got the package. Here we go. Next paragraph. 
Accordingly then, neither can it be named, nor be spoken of, nor be opined of, nor be the object of knowledge. Mm. Nor do the real beings have a perception of self. It is not likely. Hey, notice what he added. The idea of real beings. Right? Yeah. Right. No perception, <laughs> no perception brought the real beings into the self. Right, right. <laughs> wow. They're not going to have a perception of anything. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like being in that state? Well, I mean, the, well, that seems like a fast one to put in the <laughs> real being suddenly. No, that, that's true. Yeah. That's true. And their perception. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, as a matter of fact, uh, it's likely that could have sneaked into the second hypothesis. But given the fact that it's there... But I'm... Therefore, hey, the idea of the intellect right, doing something called intellecting, the object would have to be intelligible just as the I is doing something called seeing an object. Mm -hmm. Right? They're parallel. Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. By the way, among objects, you cannot put in the idea of self. Right. Nor can any real being ever perceive it. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, what does that do? Well, I find it, I love it. Oh, dangerous. I mean, if... Let me talk to someone who's a little wilder. <laughs> hey, Miss. <laughs> hey, Miss. Wilder. Uh, what's that, George? Well, you just have to make a big leap out of a certain realm. <laughs> you have to do what to make it? You just have to leap out of a certain realm into... Wait a minute, if she thinks there's some realm to leap into... I, I, yeah. No, I said out of... Out yeah, I'll of, try it again. Go ahead. You just have to leap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just leap. Hey, if you're walking along the road toward my Zoomies joint in L.A., right? <laughs> and you happen to be walking along with a fellow monk going into meditation, what would you tell me? Drop it. <laughs> <laughs> no method. But wait a minute. Suppose someone came back and said, oh, poor thing. She thinks it's something you can drop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right? There's an image there. Mm -hmm. The answer goes. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. ding a ling a ling <laughs> Does it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Any more? Does it, it doesn't say that the real beings don't exist. It just says that certain, so real beings then aren't able to see the self or they're doing something that they can't do. I'll take the second if you want to or give me a choice. Or if they're using that model of intelligible, they can't there's something that isn't possible for real beings. It, they're limited. Um, that's the way the ball bounces. <laughs> mm. Like, what would you expect? <laughs> and if they, if they can't see it, then <laughs> nobody can see it. Okay, pull it to the conclusion. Therefore, is it possible that these conclusions have to be in this way about the one? To me, at least, it certainly does not appear to be in this way. What do you make of that? What happened? Two parts, right? Parmenides' point and Aristotle's response. Any comment on the first? It seems a little bit like he was almost expecting 
Aristotle leads to um, uh, disagree because he said, is it possible? No. It seems no, kind no, of... No, 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 we just want to say in the first. Okay. Look here. You have to have this list clear in your mind because it's all of these... All of these conclusions, what about them? Uh, they're it, they're all in there. Therefore, is it possible that these conclusions... Ab have about to, what? ...have to be in this way about the one? Right. So these are all the conclusions about the one. What about them? Is it possible that they have to be this way? Yeah. Hey, what are the odds? Uh, got any arguments for it or against it? What do you think? Is it possible? Isn't that an interesting uh, way to begin an inquiry? Yeah, is it possible? Yeah, like, I hear what you're saying, but I want to know whether it's possible, you know? Uh, well, I know a way to do that. You send in to uh, Wikipedia and you will type in the word conditions for something being possible or not, okay? <laughs> and they'll give you, oh, they'll give you great answers and we can use them all. Oh yeah, Google, yeah. 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 Have, have you, why don't you do it for us? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even get into my phone, I can't figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. All right. But, but so he talks about the one, and then he concludes about the self, and then he ends by saying, and is this possible For, to be about the one? Right. Because that's what the point is. Yeah. So it's like, cool. Okay, let me change it, okay? So what? See, that's always a good question. Like, so what? But this allows him to say that there's an inner connection between the one self. Oh, yeah. That's right. That kind of one is what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Right? So he's taking all of that and saying, okay. Oh, by the way. <laughs> Shall we go back to Aristotle? What does he do? Not so fast. Not to so me fast. at least. <laughs> it's not a to fast. me at least. To me at least. And muy gay. Oh, I have a different translation. What you say? <laughs> that guy Balboa screws up a lot of times. He just sends me a couple of translations and not you guys. So I'll read mine that he sent me. <laughs> <Tell> me. <laughs> to me at least, I would prefer hearing about the nature of the self than the one, since you can't know anything about it or it doesn't exist. So why don't you keep talking? Yeah. <laughs> That's a better version. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> but he asked. Yeah. What did he ask? He said, hey, can you see whether or not it is possible that all of these things we said you have to deny about the one Hey, is that possibly true? What we were serving? So he scratches his head and he says, uh, mm -hmm. Is he holding back for calling, talking about the one or the self? Which is it? The one. Self. The one. Doesn't ask about the self. That's why my translation from him is much better. <laughs> well, what he did in the yeah. second hypothesis is totally different, too. So. Yeah. Now I can get you a copy of that for you, son. Why would you Why would he ask that though? Because he's already saying that you can't have knowledge, knowledge of it, or the real beings, and it is, and he is saying that it is not likely. That is not. I do not see that you are using the word "why" in the way I use mm -hmm. it. So. Okay, do you, do you need the word right. why? Well, like what do you? What's you're, the saying, question? you're saying. Forget the word why for a moment. What was the puzzle? Okay, that if he if he's interested in looking at the self, 
Who is he? Aristotle. No, it, there's not evidence that he's looking at looking oh, for I thought, information. Well, I was just so. taking what you said that I'd be interested in the self and it going well. Well, I. Okay. I, I, I made that quote up, so don't run after him. Okay. Because I'm going, okay. how can you do that? And he went and agreed, saying that no. it was. All right. Now, hey. Yeah, that's it. So all I need is one more question. It's the next sentence that's key for the second hypothesis. What is he doing in the second hypothesis? Can we can we get to see something right of another kind may come to light? What does that mean? May come to light. Well, what what point is he making? Let's go back to the beginning and raise a new question. What's the question? Let's see whether one. another kind of one can be generated. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Is that correct? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Hey, a different kind. Not that it's wrong or right, but it has to be a different kind than what he described here. Okay, fine. Time for a break. A cup of coffee. Then we do some dreams. There's a box of cold lime sparkling water.